Hello and welcome back to Factorio. We have got a pretty great electric system set up, if I do say so myself, which I do. So let's get our power ran over to our copper right away, and then we can work on getting some lights. So here, yeah, well, I can zoom in a little bit. So let's go this way. Um, that one's not touching it. There. So we have that on, we have that on. So today is going to be, I think, lighting up the world a little bit, because I think we researched that. And also starting to automate um, our factory, basically. We kind of have our ore gathering, and then our first automation system will take that ore and automatically pump it into the furnaces, which will then automatically pump it out onto a conveyor belt. And that'll be kind of the, the start. Um, I'm just checking. Looks good. Let. Oh, I do that. I'm so sorry. Okay. We want to research because we have lights. We've already done this. It says. So these are ones we can research. All the red are ones we still have to unlock doing other research. So I need to research electronics before I can do automation too. And I need to research automation before I can research electronics. And it just keeps going like that. So we've done optics, so we have lamps. Let's pick one more and then we'll start setting down a few lamps uh, so that we can actually see on video when it's dark. Um, and I'll explain the negatives to that, which is, there's a few, but it's fine. We'll be okay. So do I want armor? Do I want to get better weapons? Probably, actually. Um, this adds a second quick bar, which I've never used. Plus 50 of each is a lot, so we won't do that for a while. We don't need steel for a while, um, we just need to get iron up. We need a lot of iron for steel production. We don't need to build stone walls for a while, hopefully anyway. Uh, turrets are good, might be worth getting that. Logistics, faster and more flexible ways. So it gives us the underground belt, the splitter, which is really, really, really good and the fast inserter and then automation which gives us our first assembling machine which we'll need um, soon. I think we're gonna go with the splitter because I love 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 using the splitter it's so useful. Um, unfortunately for that we need a lot of... no you know what I'm gonna do no that's bad. We need our f assembling machine so let's do ten of those because once we get our assembling machine we can get the assembling machine, assembling machine, assembling machine. I want to call it an assembly machine, assembling. Anyway, this thing, we can get that to create our 20 science packs so that we can create things without taking up our own like uh, time. So research automation. And yeah, we'll get to all these once we unlock them. Long-handed inserter, splitter, all that stuff. We'll we'll get there. Uh, but for now, let's get the assembling machine, which basically means you feed stuff into it, and then it spits out product. It's how you basically build your entire factory. Um, I need to get 10 of these red potions, um, science packs. They're definitely potions. Um, yeah, let's place some lights. We can't actually do that until I build some. So we're going to cancel that and build five lights. And then we can go back to building these. And that's why an assembling machine is useful, because I can build these lights while the assembly machine builds the potions, uh, the, the science packs. All right, so I'll do that while I place these. And basically, um, I just kind of want to light up the most amount of area with the fewest amount of lights, we'll put one there. Now the problem, I, I think, this is what happens, uh, is that mm, like the aliens can see the lights better or something, and they're attracted to it maybe. I think it's true. You know, I'm not even confident about that, obviously. Um, that might happen, but I'm pretty sure that since you kind of light up the place that the aliens are more attracted to your base, um, but I don't know. I do know that you do create pollution 
Like the more electric steam engines you have, the more pollution you create. And later on we'll be able to see that on our map. Um, we should be able to now, but I guess we can't. So basically this pollution will create like a little red aura. And if that red aura hits like enemy bases, I don't think we have any very near us, which is really lucky. Like if we had an enemy base like right here on the map where I'm pointing on the minimap and the pollution hits it, then that'll encourage them to come kill me or at least kill the steam engines. But it looks like we're pretty safe here for a while. So anyway, we have our lights. We'll, we have one more we'll use um, if I see any holes of darkness. We have our science pack, so let's feed them in. This will get really exciting once we get our uh, assembling machine to start doing some work for us. We don't have coal. So here's how we solve that. Not that we really need more stone, but why not? If I hit the F button, the F button is going to pick up whatever he's standing on. So there I pick all that up, so I can just run down. And I just picked up 81 coal. That easily. So we'll store that. And... Okay, that's about all we can do for now. Now we need to begin this process. This is quite the process. Um, I need lots of stone furnaces. We'll make ten of those. Five on each side. Let's do twelve. Let's do six on each side for now. And then we need a ton of these. Okay, that means I need to pick up some plates, and I need to pick up some plates. So basically what we're going to try to do is get these to spit out the plates onto a conveyor belt. And then... I'm trying to think if we want to do anything else. Yeah, I think that's it. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so now we want... what did I want? Where's that thing I wanted? Here we go. We want the splitter. So instead of making 20 science packs ourselves, we can make an assembling machine. We could actually make two if we wanted and have them each make 10. But I think for resources sake let's just do one for now we just need to put it in electricity which is why I'm kind of putting them here these will all get moved later um, now this tells me what what do I want to make in this assembling machine I want to make red science packs okay well to do that you need copper plates and gear wheels so I am going to put in all those now actually what I can do check this out. This is going to be good. So this is kind of our first little use of um, automation. We'll put another one here. Oh. This is going to make our gear wheels. Okay. So once this makes gear wheels, it's going to put those into this machine right there. And then together they will make the science packs. So let's put that in. So it's making gear wheels. So what do we need? An inserter. And now it's going to take that gear wheel, put it there. And then this is going to make a science pack. And actually, if I want to do this one more time, um, darn it. Actually, I think I can do it there. So that still has electricity. I can do one more inserter. And since this already knows that it takes science packs, it's going to take the science pack, put it in there, and then once it's used it, it'll just keep putting them in. So there's our first automation. Automatic gear wheels. We have to self-feed it copper plates for now, uh, but that'll be fine. That'll take a while to go away. And actually we need a few more. Well, no, that should be fine. We don't need a ton. Um... Okay, so we need more of these because we need 
Lots more transport belts. And we need, whoop, we need uh, more drills, which means I need more iron plates. Dang it, so I really just need to pump up my iron production. This is fine, we have plenty of copper. A lot of things need iron, so I really need a second drill down. I need one more iron plate, good. Let's get another drill. We'll build that quickly. And um, let's see. So here we're going to start doing the thing. We're going to start doing the thing. We're going to pick this up. Oh, so we're going to lose electricity. Come on. We'll lose electricity for a little bit, but that's okay. That happens a lot in this game. You just got to kind of get used to losing productivity for a little bit. All right. So those will shoot out onto this. And we want that to feed into these. I'm trying to think. Because we also need a conveyor belt of coal to go through the middle. So I think... Um, we might be too close. I actually might want to do this down here and then run up my factory north. Let's do that. I think we're just going to run out of room because we need a lot of stone furnaces doing that. And I think we just don't have enough because this lake. So we'll do all the stone furnacing down here. We'll worry about the oil later. And then we'll run our two conveyor belts of plates up this way for a long ways and start our factory up here. That'll be fine. Um, it'll actually be organized kind of nicely. Let's connect up our power. I think we can. We're going to need one there and one there. Okay. Well, this will actually work really nicely because the coal's closer here anyway. So what we want... See if I can show this a little bit. We want... Basically furnaces like this. And then we want... Coal here. And furnaces like this. this. So this will be coal. Oh, I was right. So this will be coal at some point. Some point soon, hopefully. Um, let's get rid of this tree. And we'll put these down. The reason I'm spacing uh, these out is for our electric poles. If I put three together, they wouldn't have room to hit them all, whereas now they do. Um, but I'll get to those when we actually need the electricity. So let's actually just put eight down since we have them. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. So this... Oh, we're actually almost there already. This is not going too poorly. This will go around. Oop, we want that to connect. Like this. And again, we need a lot of these. Okay, I'm going to have to manually feed some of these because I really need the uh, steel plates. Like, really bad. Um, what? So I'm just trying to disperse these a bit so they go a little faster. Okay. We're getting there. We're just kind of stalled because of the lack of, lack of conveyor belts. So yeah, this... Oh, yeah, we did it. See? That was way easier than building 20 ourselves. We could actually like just kind of set it and forget it, which is what this game becomes. Uh, make it and then come back later and reap your reward. So we, we now have underground belts, which we'll actually use in just a minute for our coal. We have fast inserters, which use a little more electricity... Uh, you can see energy consumption at the bottom there. But we'll definitely get to those because they are really, really fast, obviously. And we'll get to what splitters do in a bit. Basically, they take one belt and split it into two. 
Now I think it's probably worth getting military so that we can build a machine gun. So research that. Um, yeah, I just really need to wait for plates. We're almost there. We're almost to the point where we can... Actually, do we have long inserters yet? What are these? Smart? We don't get to those for a while. Um, I guess I can check this. Yeah. Okay, longhand inserters we'll need to is in a little bit. So this is definitely going to happen today. We might not get to the copper, but once we set up one, the other one is a lot quicker because we'll have the resources and kind of the know-how, I guess. So we need iron plates. Actually, no. I need those first. I need inserters. Okay, so let's start setting up our inserters. So these are going to put iron ore autom... Did I only have one? Okay. Oh boy. This happens sometimes too, where you just sort of... I don't like. I kind of jumped the gun and didn't gather enough plates before I started this process. Um, yeah. We'll finish this row first. Actually, we might as well just do that. Okay. Now we need electricity, so those actually work. So that. And notice that'll cover this inserter and the ones that we'll have over here. Which is, uh, of course, what we want. We'll do that. There, that all this is powered now. Well, not yet, but it will be. So let's connect that up to this power here. Oh, we can do that with one. See, oh, Q, 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 Q. Um, all right, so now we have our ore going into the stone furnace. Now we need coal. So for now, I'm going to have to manually feed them coal just f like once, just to get them started. Because now I just need a lot more belts. So let's feed coal. Coal. Get in there. So now we need an underground belt as well. Uh, we might have some more up here. Oh, come on. Actually, if I hold control and click... That's going to collect everything. I wish I would have just showed that earlier. Um, wow, that was really fast. So we have a gun now. Let's do armor and just make sure we're safe. So yeah, instead of clicking, 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 I can just hit control, click, got them. Control, click, I got six plates, now I have 39. Isn't that nice? Why didn't I do that a long time ago? Because I kind of forgot about it. Um, so we need one underground belt so that we can go under this. And we'll go... Um, that should be fine. Looks looks kind of messy. I don't like how, but this is not going to be good enough. I don't think. Um, anyway, so what we want is we probably just want to get a couple. Now well, that's going to take a lot of power. And I don't want to use any more power than we have to. Because we need a lot of coal going to this. But we also really want to make sure that doesn't run out. So yeah, we'll just do... Um, we'll eventually get two dedicated drills just for this. Because we'll have one going here and one going there. So let's collect some iron plates again, since I'll need those. Uh, okay, two drills. And a ton of these. I can actually start working. So this is where our splitter is going to come in handy, but I'll do this kind of a little more step by step. Um, we'll do something like this. Yeah, we have a really nice plot of coal to work with, so I'm not too worried about space. Okay, so we're going to split well, let's... here, I'll actually power them up first. There we go. So once they're powered up, I can actually show you what the splitter does. It's really nice. Um, so what it's going to do, once I build it, 
is basically just make two separate paths. So let's put it in here. All right. So it kind of alternates. One will go there, and then the other will go there, and then the other will go there. It's just that I have so much, it just sort of did it automatically. And now I can have one belt go this way, like that, and the other belt will go eventually over to our copper. It'll have kind of the same setup, just copper and copper plates. So now we need a lot more inserters. Yeah, this uh, this initial setup takes just takes a while. I mean, that's this whole game takes a long time to set up this system, but uh, the problem solving aspect is really uh, fun. If not, also sometimes really stressful and frustrating, but a lot of mistakes are made. I've played this quite a bit, so some of this I've just done before, and hopefully it is efficient enough. Um, okay, so we have the iron all set up. It's all automated. Uh, once we start pumping more, which we will get to, we'll probably have like eight, eight or ten of these. Uh, then that'll actually be, f it'll, this will fill up kind of like this coal fills up. Now we just need inserters to pump our coal automatically into our furnaces. So when you look at the inserter, um, the arrow of course points to where it's going to put it and the line is where it's taking it from. Um, so I'm not sure... I think this needs to move up because of that underground, which is fine. Actually, I don't like how that looks. I think I'd rather have it look like this. And then we need... Man, we run out of these transport belts. But again, later on we'll set, it, set up an assembly machine to make transport belts for us. And then all we have to do is go collect them. So we'll do that. Maybe. Alright, so the reason these aren't working is because these are probably... Oh, they just don't have coal in them, or iron in them yet. Um, and these are full enough. So now, we need a uh, conveyor belt to put them on. So we build another series of conveyor belts. We need an underground and a bunch more of these. So let me collect steel. I also need to put some plates in our... Let's build a bunch of these. Like that. And I need plates in here. That should be fine. We have plenty of that. There we go. That's why our research is kind of st stalled. So now... what? Do, okay, so now we have conveyor belts again. So... We'll run... An underground... Like this. And nope, oh, that's not what we want. Wait a minute. I think what I want is something like this. Yeah. Let me put a light down since we're kind of getting. There we go. So, this, what this will do, let me make sure. Is this, okay, so an, a long-handed inserter is going to take the iron and put it on this belt, and then this belt is going to join up, and then the, uh, the steel plates should join into two rows instead of staying on one. And that might not make sense right now because it's a little confusing at first, but that's, that should work. So once this actually... Oh, let me just put a steel plate in here to make sure... Oh. So there we go. Okay, so I need one more belt here. So yeah. And then let me put a long-handed inserter... Here. And probably one more belt. Yep. So then these should connect up, and instead of being on just one side, they'll be on both which will help speed things up later. Um, and it'll let us queue up more. So good, oh, that was fast.
All right, what else can we research fairly easily? We don't need those yet. This stuff is just faster, but they also take a lot more resources, so we can't really use them. Turts will be good for self-defense. So that is our steel plate production. It's all automated. I don't have to touch it. I do have to set up a lot more of these. Um, so let's. So now I don't have to pick those up. I can just go. Roop, roop. Got some steel. Come over here and pick up some plates. What else do I need? I just need a lot more iron plates. Um, all right. So we just need a lot of a lot of drills. Um, and if and if you didn't see, when you do a long-handed inserter, you also need an inserter. So I don't know if you saw a little bit ago. I didn't have any inserters left, so it actually built one like automatically um, because that's what the system does. And I know I've talked about that ad, nause ad nauseum, but uh, is that the word ad nauseum? Ag whatever, a lot. But I figured I'd mention it one last, maybe one last time. Drills. Let's set them up in a better fashion than this. So we want to rotate like that. Pick this up. Nope. Pick it up. Okay. Just pick it up. There we go. We need to do that. This is in our way. Go all the way down here. And now... There we go. Now what we can do is set up a lot more drills more efficiently. If I get out of the way, pick this up. Come on. Okay, there we go. We have two left, so let's get up Wow, that is really nice how fast that's going. It'll slow down um, eventually, I think, once we have to get like greens, because then we have to catch up with assembling machines, but... So we can do more damage with our bullets, shotgun shells, more turret damage. Basically I'm looking for things that only need red. Steel, but we don't need that. Stone walls. We can do electronics, because we need electronics to do a bunch of these other things. So let's just do that. I think that'll be fine. Um, one more drill and I'll be super happy. Well... We might not get it. Uh, let's power this up. So we need... We need to go chop wood. That might be for next episode. Okay. Yeah, it starts... There are... Uh, later on you can research... Better... Um, power cable... Like power lines. What do they call them? Electric poles? There we go. You can research better electric poles, but for now we're kind of stuck with these short-ranged ones. But we can do it. We can make it work. Uh, we probably need one here. Alright, let's get one more drill. So I need wheel or wheels. Uh, I need uh, plates. Actually, if I set this down, it'll queue longer, which might as well do. And now we can probably do one more. And we'll set it down. And then I should be happy with iron once I connect these up. Alright, so now we have probably a lot of... We pro oh, we need... That's why... They, you see how they're kind of going slower than... I've been playing this enough. I mean, I, I can kind of tell they're just going a little slow. If I look at this, our consumption is not doing well. Luckily, that's a pretty easy fix. If I can find it. We just need a few more steam engines. Um, basically, what I've always done and what I think you can do is stack three for Mac, like off of one set of boilers. Uh, so basically like a three by three grid. Three here, three here, three here. So I'll just add two more right to here. Our pollution will go up a little, but our electricity will go up a lot. And we need it, so... Let's see, why do I keep losing that? We'll do one for now, see what that does. And then this will also speed up our drills. Um, looks like this is in the way. Yeah, that is. So this should work. 
Okay, if I check our line, there we go. Cause this all this is all in the same line. You can actually you can have dedicated like engines. If I wanted this engine to only power like this half, and then use like this pool here to power this half, I can do that. Maybe maybe we'll do that later. But for now, it's easier just to have it all in the same. Looks like that's enough. Just one, so I'll only add one. And now our drills are pumping out um, at a better speed. Looks like we have a light. Let's put another light down. So now it's dark. Our lights are, of course, letting us see what's going on, which is really nice. And we are finally getting decent iron production. So um, I didn't even time that episode. If, I hope it wasn't too long. I usually do. I just wasn't expecting it to take that long. So anyway, um, again, when we do this same system for copper, It'll be a lot faster because we won't have to wait for resources because we'll have iron, which is what we need mostly. And we'll kind of have the blueprint right there. And they actually have blueprints in this game, I just haven't unlocked them. But we kind of see how it's set up, we just mimic the same thing, just with copper ore. Um, and we already have our coal line. So next time we will definitely set up our coal line um, and then we can run them up and start our assembly processes for our factory. So. Yeah, we're getting there, slowly but hopefully surely. Uh, we need to get that rocket defense system up for all those nasty aliens we have yet to see, um, which I'm fine with. Um, did I ever build? Might as well build our gun, since we can, because it's a lot better than the pistol. And then we might as well build some ammo um, before we leave. Others I'll forget. So I'm gonna equip, this is kind of a weird system, but basically this green means it's equipped and then I don't even remember how to shoot, to be honest. Oh, there's a grid system. I've never... So shift space gives you a grid, which is new to me. But anyway, when the when they come, when I need to shoot, when the enemies come, this green box shows me what weapon I have equipped, and I definitely want the submachine gun besides the pistol. So that will be it. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you back next time. Thank you for watching. A like and or subscribe is of course always appreciated, otherwise have yourselves a very nice day.